Okay, this is off the hook, folks, and basically we are at Ridout, and I'll show you at the end. I will make sure to show you the picture, and you're going to see different stars because this is massive, massive, massive distances. And then you also see, you're going to see dark, basically, they're planetoid objects. When you see a dark star, it's a dyed, it's a dyed off star. Just like Earth, there's planetoid objects out there like crazy. Now, each one of these is a different sun, it's a different star. There are hella distances out there, but now I'm going to have a lot of stuff on the Alpha Centauri, and I'm going to be blowing in on this in the future in a minute when I come back along this. Now, as we go to the right, we're up at a thousand. I can point, okay, and we'll also blow in on this one here too, and show the difference of, and that's more than likely another solar system or galaxy back there, another solar system. Actually, this is basically. Uh, but they're going to have a lot of explaining. NASA's got a lot of explaining to do. Okay, so they're keeping secrets, but basically the powers to be of Mother Nature are bleeding through the truth, and webcams are catching stuff all over the place all the time. And satellites catch people uh, being bad all the time. And there's actually some morals out there someplace. Okay, so these are all separate stars. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some data that's going to show you the fact that a lot of supergiant stars are in a line. Okay. And let me finish to get some more time in on, on looking at each one of these stars because basically this is a star too. A huge sun okay out there. These are huge. You see they're way bigger than these smaller stars. Okay objects in space yes lots of tiny little stars that are like the moon brighter than the moon uh they're also stuff that's dark it's not illumin uh, uh doesn't have a lumin luminosity out there in space now when i get the point the magnifier here and this is the one that's really round and i'm going to prove to you that some of these objects over here or actually got separation between them, that that's actually two suns, and there's actually separation right there, okay? There, There's a hell of a lot of distance between those two suns, okay? There's a hell of a lot of distance between these two, okay? Each one of these has distance between them, okay? These are bleeding down, they're bleeding in, they're coming in, and I'm going to give you an actual factual data shot of that in a few minutes. You just stay with me, watch the video, okay? Now, it takes time to show you the truth. We're going to be blowing in, and there's going to be tons of stars that are either up in that sun's, and either that or they're going to be future planetoid objects, moons, and there's also stars with such massive distance that there's stars between us and out there. Now, the darker objects are planets, okay? And then that's their shadows. And the brightness is the planets, just like the Earth. When I show you the shots of Earth out in space. Now you're looking from on Earth through a webcam that's catching this stuff up in Alaska. Nice, crisp, clean air and a nice telescope for reflective off of the ocean and off of the snow and ice. Okay. Now it's not at the very North Pole. No, it's not. Not at the very North Pole. But there's a lot of winter and ice right now and you can catch this. Okay. So as we keep pumping up, you'll get in and you'll realize that we're looking at a huge sun out there. And then there's planets, and those planets are the bright objects that are around this. And they'll all come down in size. Now let's go cruising around here when I'm up in size. And then you get a good shadow there off of that, more than likely a planet there in front of this huge star. Now this also could be a star between here and the massive distances there. Okay, but there are shadows, and when you get a shadow, shadow the same size as the planetoid object in space. So we get a shadow out this way. You see, this shadow is closer to us than the planet itself, and there's all kinds of planets around this thing. Okay, and I'm going to show you proof in the next few days. It's going to just blow your socks off. Because if we're getting this from a webcam, it's bleeding us the actual factual that I can go and get some pictures that basically either from ESA or from NASA, someone has stole pictures of me on the internet. There's tons of them. 
and I'm going to show them to you and blow into them on the magnification. And now we got to go hurry up and get in and, and go up and look at our more than likely uh, a solar system. I mean, uh, yeah, a solar system basically a star, a sun, way the heck out, and then it's got you know more than likely planets around it up there, okay, and that's bleeding through too. Alright, and this is all coming off webcam shot, it's just like I've been showing you from, and what we were able to match up is me looking at all of our na Navy shots, okay, so then we go ahead and magnify in on this, this star, this basically a sun, a star is a sun, planet's a planet, and you can see the dark shadows way the hell up by these huge suns, these are super giant suns. Okay, now I'm going to have to, for tape time, let's hurry up and get over. I'm going to go to the last one because, now let's go to the group. Let's go in on this group, and you'll see the stars in front of it, which may, more than likely, they could be stars. Don't get me wrong, there's massive distances, but also, there's shadows. And if you have a shadow up by the, that super huge sun, then there's a shadow. The shadow's closer to us, and that's a planetoid object or a moon. Just remember, there's moons on Jupiter that are huger than Earth. And, and just that simple, Moon and Saturn both have moons that are huger than Earth, okay? So, we just know a moon, they got us brainwashed in it because they keep us off the moon, okay? Now remember, there's more than likely huge distances between these suns, okay? They're just all on a line. So now let me go over and get the last one in here. That's in the frame shot. We'll zoom in on that. And you're also going to have the video that I had up a little bit earlier showing you the same stuff. And I keep showing that the idea that these planets are out there. And I'm going to have concrete evidence to it tomorrow. Because I've got some stolen pictures from space satellites can get intercepted with the telemetry. And I've got some pictures. And you're going to you're going to know that they're real because basically what we'll do right now. This will plop out and remember this is a webcam that's basically showing you the factual that when we don't blow in on this stuff you see these are all in a line out there okay and basically i'll pop up at like 400 make you realize that all this stuff's out there and we're blowing in on this and it's been coming up and let me also go to i'm going to get get down in size on the picture and actually i got to get down even a little bit more and then i'm going to go ahead and you see that it's read out Thursday and then I'll go ahead and go back and there you go and I didn't mean to do that but there you go this is the same off right off the website okay and then I'll pump up on size real fast I'll pump up to whatever 200 boom there you go the stars you can see out there and those are suns which are stars on their way the hell out now we're getting darker again so now you see it bleeds through even more to see their suns and from a hell of a long way and then when we when it gets dark here on earth then we get this action so we got fresh more shots to come out so let me save some video time here hang on and here's three i'm not even going to show too much more on this but here's an actual graph right now and basically i'll take you up to the top and you'll see that basically i'm looking at constellation Hydra, okay, but it's not just Hydra, it's the super giants, okay, uh, I had somebody mention about Hydra, now it could be that that's Hydra, but there's a lot of Hydras, you see how many Hydras there is, ladies and gentlemen, there's tons of super giants, and I've been telling everybody for two years about this stuff, okay, and no matter what, that this shows you how they're in a row, a lot of them are in a row out there, okay, so let's go back to the footage, Okay, here we are, folks. Basically, I'm going to zoom in real fast here. We'll get on 400. We'll take a look at it. Remember, I told you that there's separation, and there is. Out there in space, these things are huge. These are bigger than the sun. Every one of these ones are bigger than the sun. And as you can see, remember, I was telling you factual. Okay, now we just changed over. They're, they're really... They're, the, some, somebody, they're wanting to know NASA and stuff and everything is wanting... Some, 
authoritative people are wanting to know. They're refreshing these shots fast to be able to check out. So basically I was in there and you can see how the stars are changing and so forth. Now we're going to go up in size and there's massive distances because like I was telling you, the die, I knew that that was a star there. They're all separate stars. They are huge suns, huge sun stars, ladies and gentlemen, and they're the super giants, okay? And they are, a lot of them are in a row out in space. They're very much in alignment, okay? Now, we're going to go up, and basically that's why two years ago I was able to pinpoint earthquakes by rising and falling of, you betcha, okay? So now basically we get energy on earth no matter what now you can see right there that basically there's even a star that's down a sun that is way down below either that or there's a hell of a lot of planets right out but it basically that should be a, a star or sun in there and i've showed you the diamond shape of this huge star there before okay now these are the, in a row and more than likely you can count them within one two three four five six okay now basically we'll pump up with the magnifier okay well we are at lead out okay and i'm probably getting mirrored again it's no big deal okay and so you know that we're actually factual i'll go down and i should intercept and then we're at, we look like we're at the first of a few of them and then i'll go across on them once again and then we'll blow in on them and we'll blow in on this one here because it's got it on the bottom a lot And the, these webcams are working beautiful up there. And we're gonna. This is gonna bleed me the truth to be showing you some pictures of. And you're gonna know that it's not artwork. No one's in. I've already had some people trying to soft blackmail me with my kids and so forth and so on. So their asses is about ready to get slung over a freaking barrel. So anyway, there's a huge star and then a lot of stars and planets. As you can see, it's such a massive distance that they get encompassed in from the sun that's way out far. And as you can see, these are all stars. And I'm going to keep going across. I should be able to run another one. Okay, and those are all stars. And I'm also going to be able to show you from some actual space shots. Okay, satellite shots from way out in space. And Alpha Centauri is only, I gotta go down in size, okay, and as I go down in size, then you can see where we're at, and actually since I'm there, I'll pump this down real fast to like 400, okay, and that's what we're looking at here, and then I'll get a zoom in on these, uh, I think I was going through on that star action there, so, and we'll get a look at these, and it looks like this one, it has the same thing with, uh, and I'll show you that we are basically at doubt okay back down cross and I missed it because I didn't go low enough and here we go and these stars are all all their suns and they're huge and they're bleeding through okay they're just bleeding through it's a high camera out there and they're not even really shooting the daggone volcano anymore they're keeping an eye on it they're they're wanting to know just like we are they're getting a great shot now see, there's going to be authorities at NASA that don't want you to see this stuff because they're only showing what they show you from out in space. Okay, you're going to have to watch my videos tomorrow. I'll even try to make one of them tonight. And I'm going to be showing you Alpha Centauri. There's a lot of photos that they haven't been giving you. They're always controlled by propaganda, the press. Well, we've been able to intercept some shots. And as you can see, this one here is a dying off star. Probably still pretty hot since it can burn way out in space and get, uh, and you'll be able to see it. And no matter what, and then I'll be able to go through. And as you can see there, there's a planet up there by that one for sure, because you can see the shadow. Okay. So. And that's why I blow in, folks, because basically I'm trying to make you realize that absolutely this stuff is out there, okay? And this is not Worldwide Telescope. This is actually, this is a Redoubt webcam.
This is all real, ladies and gentlemen. 